So, really, I'm just here um, to be uh, thanking you for participating to this event. Most of all, thanking you, Spavia and Netbel for the great cooperation in organizing this day. So, tomorrow here at Human Technopole, we will be inaugurating formally our labs that are around uh, Palazzo Italia. Um, but I think that this uh, to me, uh, I, we started Human Technical three and a half years ago, is as important an event as the inauguration of the labs. Because when we designed and decided to implement Human Technical, what we were thinking was uh, about the need of having, in, also in Italy, a place that had uh, high-end technologies, able to do research in the frontier of life science, and being able to uh, um, deliver technologies open to researchers that could then uh, bring their own research one step ahead or maybe 10 steps ahead thanks to uh, the incredible speed in which different type of technologies are developing. Um, but at the same time, having a place where the link between science and industry could be stronger and more direct and more uh, uh, open and that had a clear idea why this is so important. So I love to, I was lucky to be here, unfortunately I was busy with other events today and I couldn't attend the entire seminar, but I'd like to hear uh, the stories you told a few minutes ago, because of course there are personal reasons why you want to be interested in, in, in technology transfers, in technology transfer there can be reasons linked to the viability of university and the viability of research. But there's also, I think, a broader reason why we do this, which is that what happens in the lab, there's always, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm an economist, and there's something called the opportunity cost. Meaning if you're spending five euros for your pizza, you can't spend five euros for your ice cream, you have to make a choice. And so the price of the pizza is also the price of not eating the ice cream, okay? So, uh, science and research for people who don't do science and research it is an opportunity cost should we fund research institutes or should we fund a football pitch and this is not an example that i'm saying uh, 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 by chance because some other people suggested that here instead of having research center we should have three new football pitches which you know for people who play football that was probably a very very good idea now the opportunity cost of science is also the impact that has on people and the impact that science can have of pe on people also comes, of course, comes through new diagnostics, also comes through new uh, 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 medicines that you can discover and new devices. But all these uh, have the need of industrial development to be available to everyone. Um, so there is an inherent link that Italy uh, as a country was not really able to nail. Uh, and this is one of the weakness of the Italian, particular Italian scientific system of producing great research and being extremely uh, weak when it comes to uh, producing patents or developing new companies. And this has nothing to do with money nor with capacity. It has a lot to do with some institutional um, complexity and something to do with culture and, and, and habits of researchers. And that is why we have developed a center that is led by Fabio Terragni, who I thank very, very much for the incredible effort he puts into this, that has the aim of uh, um, playing also that role, so that both roles of human technical, well, there's more than that, more than two, but at least these two, the science and the technology transfer, are developed uh, in a, uh, fully fledged. Now, I think that this is the first event, an important event, but has to be therefore just the starting phase. Because to be, uh, and I think uh, the attendance was impressive, the, uh, the, the, the participants were individually impressive uh, scientists and young scientists, but of course I think we can develop more targeted type of courses for different type of phase in which technology transfer can happen. Uh, we will have to develop different type of plants to link better finance and research so that the funding can reach the researchers groups when is the right time to develop their prototypes or their proof of concepts or uh, whatever stage 
uh, that particular invention or discovery is. And this is one key mission of our, um, of our institute. Of course, we can do it and we won't want to do this in isolation. It's absolutely crucial that we do this cooperating with other institutions like use uh, Netball and other institutions because what makes this place working so far and not all, by place I don't mean only human human technical but the entire neighborhood is the idea of ecosystem an ecosystem is a place where everybody's doing their job and they have a mission like our mission is to build the human technical and do it as 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 well as we can but our strength also depends on the strength of the others that are around us and our partners and that it works and, and typically that what makes innovation that is what makes advancement that what makes also well-being for people in the given territory so i think today for me personally is a great day i hope and i think i'm sure you had a very very interesting two-day seminar and i look forward for the next one and actually look forward for a new fully fledged program on technology transfer and then in a short while i look forward to see the new companies and the new products being developed by us thank you very much